Hey guys, it's me, Waldo2413, back with another video. This one, we're going to stretch things to the limit. This is even smaller than the last stuff we printed. Trying the new film, see how it does. Um, we're going to let this stuff cool in between, though, but this is a lot smaller than any of the other stuff. Um, so I don't know how it's going to hold up. The font is extremely small. This is for a photo booth company, um, and this is a rush order. Uh, they're only needing uh, six shirts, and this is where DTF excels. Um, so, on a small order like this, you can actually, and I can already see, the font is going to be too, uh, not visually appealing, um, it's too small. Um, but this is where the DTF does excel on stuff because you can actually just do the six shirt order and they're good to go where if this is two colors. If I had to set up screens and all that for them on this, it's going to be pretty pricey. Um, and so when you can DTF this stuff, it makes it where you can price stuff reasonable or competitive. And we're going to see if it comes out. So the font did stay there. Better than I kind of thought. But it's so small, I'm not really sold on it. Um, but this at least will work. Um, we're going to do all six of them, I guess. I'm not sold, like I said, 100% on it. I'm not sold on the font color that they went with um but it's their image not mine i didn't design it they just sent me it so what i will suggest on their next run and if it wasn't a rush order um and they're out of town so they're just going to be getting back into town picking them up and using them um, tomorrow night um i will suggest to them though to thicken the font and fix that up and maybe adjust the color so they stand out a little bit better. In general though, it looks decent. I mean, it's just the downside, you can see the size of my finger to the wording. And that wording is so small, it's... Like you could probably, if I cut all them letters, I could put them all on my fingernail. So, um, it works. It's not what I would have done if I was designing it. Um, because what it is is these shirts are for their company that does photo they got a photo booth but they're wanting them to be seen um um yeah and so what i'll suggest to them is having whoever they got it designed from have the artwork redone and just thickened up um their trailer it looks nice We've done some stickers for them on um, that stuff on big stuff um, never did this so they just sent the artwork um, so they needed some shirts um, so like I said that being said I would probably and see the other thing too with this film I'm having this film really bad luck um, you get the slightest bit of powder on here and that's why I always put a top sheet on you get a slightest bit of powder on there, and as you've seen, it was lifting. The sticker, the, not sticker, the transfer actually is already transferred onto the shirt, so it's it's doing like it should. Um, but I just know for a fact that small a font, I don't want to chance it, um, like you've seen with the other one. So we're going to let it cool a little bit. On the bigger stuff, it probably would appeal perfectly fine, but it's one of them things you don't want to take chances on. Um, I do have extra shirts. I do have some extra transfers I made. I just don't want to be scrapping a bunch of shirts because the transfer didn't come out good. Um, like I said, so it is doing what it's supposed to. Um, and like I said, it's nice if I didn't get the slightest bit of glue. I got a little glue on the back of the paper. That's, that's my own fault. It's in a rush. Um, we hand shook these so you're gonna if you're not careful if you're not using like a 
the agitator, the automated system, and you're just doing one or two and hand pressing them or hand powdering them, just be careful when you flick the powder, make sure you get all the residue off because if you get any on the back side, like I did, you can see even on the Teflon, it's not, it sticks somewhat to the Teflon so it makes it a little tricky on it. So just always be cautious on that. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's where you don't miss any more Michi and Bobby videos.